to the show you what to do if you update it to iOS 26 on your iPhone and you prefer not to have so much transparency. There is a setting to reduce the transparency on your iPhone and I'll show you right now how to enable this setting. First, I want to show you this is the lock screen and there is transparency everywhere, including buttons, windows everywhere. There are windows with transparency like this one. You see, I like this. I mean, it's good to give it a chance. Maybe you will like it, but if you prefer to have less transparency, there is actually a setting to reduce the transparency. So for this, you go to you go to the settings on your iPhone. In the settings, you go to accessibility. Under the accessibility menus, you look for display and text size. So here you have lots of settings for display. And if you see reduce transparency as an option and tap this enables reduce transparency. And now if you see, I still have these windows, but they don't have that translucent background for the folders. And when I open a folder, it's pretty much similar to how it was on 18, iOS 18. And the control center looks just like before. Maybe there are a bit of glass effects on the edges, but it's uh, not transparent like before. The lock screen still looks good and you still have your the buttons. They look, they have a bit of this look, but they are not transparent. So you can now, you are able to see better, to do things easier on your iPhone. So you don't have to try to see in the control center which button is what, comparing it to the background. I hope this helps you use your iPhone better, especially on iOS 26 with the new liquid glass interface, user interface. This is a great way to reduce it. Reducing the transparency is a great way to use your iPhone on iOS 26. You still have the great features, but you have also the, the option where you see things easier, especially the control center. This looks much better actually with the reduced transparency, but I'm not sure about um, the folders. I prefer to see the folders, how they are with the transparency. So maybe by the time this iOS 26 version is going to be released, hopefully by the time the iOS 26 will be public for everyone, released for everyone, the transparency of the control center will be adjustable at least. That's actually I have, this is one of the things I was thinking that would be good. So if I disable now reduce transparency, you see it's very, the, the background blurs a bit, but not a lot. You see that gear icon there. When I enable reduce transparency, the, the control center is much easier to read. Adjustable transparency would be great, really. That would be a perfect option. Hopefully we can get that, or at least have the, the setting for the control center to be less transparent. That's it. I hope this helps you reduce the transparency on your iPhone 16 Pro Max, this one, or whatever version of iPhone you have on iOS 26. Thanks for watching. The liquid glass transparency is a new feature of iOS 26. This is iOS 26 beta, beta, but this is iOS 26 beta, but that's how it's going to be like when it's released for sure. Maybe a little bit less transparent. Thanks for watching. I like it. And when you move them like this, it's like magic. When you move these folders, they really look like glass, like real glass on the screen. They really look nice. I like them. Okay.